feel like a review channel. I love it. First day, we're shipping off um, actually multiple animals to a one customer. Um, first up, this ball python is going to be packaged with a leopard gecko. Um, I'm just testing sizes right now to see what's going to work best size wise. We ship our snakes in snake bags, basically a glorified pillowcase. Also, being tipped with our ball python is this gorgeous uh, little male leopard gecko. Now, he's actually in shed right now, so he's looking kind of dull. Uh, so, I guess the new customer will get to enjoy his beautiful colors. Uh, as soon as he sheds. We're headed off with uh, two shipments already packed and one that will be packed later today. Yeehaw. I forgot what I was going to say. What did I say last time? This is take two. Right now we're headed to the post office, but we've got a lot planned for today. Um, a lot of fun adventures, and uh, we're going to be all over the place, so we'll keep you up to date as we go. But right now we're staying local in Durham and headed towards the post office. We haven't really even gotten started yet, and the car is already chock full of stuff. There's animals back there, and animals there, and that's a mini fridge. I'm, I'm definitely I'm gonna do everything in my power to get sponsored by that fridge. People already hate me talking about it, and I've only talked about it once. This thing's actually really tiny. I'll show you guys when we actually get some drinks out of it, but it's crazy tiny. <laughs> Couldn't see it. It's the mini mini fridge, guys. Amazing. Whoa. Epic. <laughs> we left these on top of the car like it's a coffee cup. <laughs> We've, I've got this exact same shot so many times in like a compilation of it. It's oddly actually salty. Like usually when it's salted with caramel, it's just like a hint of salt. Yeah. There's actually a good amount of salt in there and I actually like it. 4.5 out of 5. Good job. That's pretty good. Oh, now what is this one again? This is the maple pecan. It's very sweet, very crunchy. Lots of colorful stuff on top. It's beautiful. Actually, probably also 4.5, because I don't want to give it five, but because that's the spot for the butterscotch, which is gone right now. So sad. Yeah, do you want to say your idea? What's my idea? Oh, oh yeah, well, certain gas stations always have chargers, but there's not that many gas stations. But there's Starbucks is on every corner. So if they partnered with a charger, then I would like to die of happiness. Well, I need an app for this. Just get a gas powered car already. Get a normal car. We made it, hopefully. Hashtag living life on the edge. <laughs> That's the fun of the travel. I don't know. So we're currently at our second charger of the day. Um, we were staying at the last one long enough to make it to a level three charger, and now we're here trying to get up enough miles to make it to the final stretch in our destination. Let's go on a tour, everybody. It's sponsored by Nissan. I don't even. I don't know what any of these are called. And this is what Alex is going to buy with his ad revenue. And, uh, I just bought this, this, this bad boy, you know, a few, few minutes ago. This is part of the fun, you get to explore random places. Because you have to stop. Oh, I guess we're headed right to his place now. Yeah. ETA is 5 o'clock. So we're out of the interstate zone and into... 
and into, um, what was I going to say? So we're out of interstate zone and now into neighborhood zone. We're nearing in on the location of our first pickup. This is a cute little neighborhood. I guess it's that very Halloween-y one. If it was not Halloween, that would look terrifying any other time. Oh wait, is this the, is this the place? I think so. Only $20, but everything looks so good. This looks like it's straight from like Chili's. Everybody hates on Chili's, but it's okay. So we're at the grocery store and we're gonna try to get some, some dinner. Um, we typically eat out, so this will be a new change for us. We're trying to save money today. <laughs> Not really, we're just here and it's convenient. We're gonna try to keep our budget under 20 bucks. Hey guys, this is our first daily vlog. I'm about to hit 25 subscribers. It's gonna be epic. Smash like. How much is that? Five bucks. Does Sam sound good? <laughs> Not, I mean... Does that not look appetizing to you? Not really. It looks so good. I love ham. I need like a block of salami. Chop into it. Get a Lunchables. I love Lunchables. Yeah. So Alex is learning all about shopping today. This is an Amazon. Mm -hmm. So I haven't had ice cream sandwiches and so I keep looking at all the sweets. I'm like a five year old. So far we've got my nice big smoked slice of ham and Doritos. We're so nutritious. Number one role models on YouTube. Oh, can make some little salami and cheese. Oh, yeah, do they have bread? Oh, here we go. 150. I mean, we can get to split it and make a sandwich. It's actually kind of good. But... I love that. We're turning into bearded dragons. I think this is just called being a human, buying groceries. Anything else? Do we need some? It's a corn. That was lame. So here's our uh, new set of pickups from where we were just picking them up in Lexington. Uh, we got four assorted corn snakes. Overall, these guys don't look half bad. Uh, a few of them are a little bit skinny, gonna need some fattening up. Um, I'm not really sure whether that guy was a breeder or what he was that we got him from. Cause some of them look healthy and he didn't look like he was knowledgeable in reptiles, but some of them are a little bit skinny and he wasn't sure how old they were. So we're not exactly sure what their backstory is, but um, we're just going to make sure they're all in optimal health and uh, get them up to the proper weights and everything. And uh, they should be available after that, but they are pretty cool. We got all kinds of different colors. I don't think anyone except for maybe that bottom one might be a normal. How could you tell he was knowledgeable? Was it the tattoos or the beard? I guess I, guess, I, guess I don't really know that he was knowledgeable, but <laughs> he seemed like a reptile guy at least. So. Yeah. Look at the little dude. Hi. <laughs> okay, let's eat. Sponsored by Doritos. How many sponsors can we get in one video? This is epic. We are gonna make this a uh, location where we can eat food and stuff. So I'm in the trunk now. Uh, this is like my table, the back seats. Welcome to my kitchen. Fortunately, I don't have any dubia roaches today, but we do have a nice smoked ham sandwich from Food Lion on the menu. We're now adding our smoked ham slice. That's gonna be a thick sandwich. Mm, thick. I'm all dressed up for a Halloween. Studio laughter. Your sandwich is ready. Munch, munch, munch. <laughs> this is huge. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you sideways. I can't abide it. Isn't it good? Ah, I got you to like ham. How about that? They might not like it raw, like by itself. Not raw. Who eats ham raw? What kind of Thanksgiving do you have? Um, so last time I remember having a Cool Ranch Dorito, it was in like first grade when I was like seven having lunch. Um, and I got like all over my shirt. I don't know why I remember that so well. And I've smelled them since then. They smell disgusting. <laughs> but I'm gonna try it. Um, I'm just a food review channel now. 
I'm scared. Why am I scared? <clears throat> I don't know how to chew. I'm gonna try driving the leaf for the first time. Stop. You need to like hit the brake really slowly to come to a smooth stop. Yeehaw. Where's my speed? That's my speed. So, uh, it's nighttime now. We're still on the road in the car, uh, in the rain. This day's getting crazy. So, we've got a, one more gecko we got to ship off today. And uh, because we are, because we definitely value our on time shipping, we're going to work really hard to get this thing off. Um, if we can manage it. Problem is we're still in the Winsome-Salem area and uh, we got to make it all the way back to my house. That's where the gecko is. I annoyingly forgot it this morning when I left and um, we got to make it all the way back to my house to get the gecko and then all the way to the post office to get the gecko to drop off the gecko. We need to make it to the post office by 9 and hopefully get this thing off. So pressure's on right now. So we're stopping at a charging station right now and then hopefully still make it back to my place in time to deliver this gecko to the post office. What he said. <laughs> I'm just not in a talking mood now. I don't know where the charger is. Stop, stupid. I should buy some new wipers on here. I forgot to mention, we did actually pick up our second pickup. Parked in the wrong thing. Whatever. We're at a new Nissan dealership now. Uh, charging up to get to Ethan's house. We are an hour away from his house. Uh, got five animals now. You guys want to see the new addition? We're going to drop another up. So we've dropped off five animals today and picked up five. But um, regardless, I'll just go ahead and show off this new pickup, which is pretty healthy looking. Pretty lit, he was about to say. We've got a uh, bull snake of some oh. kind. Bull snake, gopher snake, all the same sort of thing. Mammal snake. Uh, Pyth I can't pronounce their name in. Python well. regius, every no, snake is no, Python no. regius. No, uh, no, no. He didn't look too skinny, but he, you can feel his spine a little more than I'd like to. Um, he's in shed right now, but apart from that, everything looks good. Oh my god. Oh, no, I can't. oh my god, I still smell it. That's expected, I guess. Uh. <laughs> all over my camera shop and all over the car. Fun. You can see where it sprayed on. Mm. <laughs> He's trying to find a, a trash can for that bag of poop. Look at the rain. It's so, like, it looks like snow. I don't know. Also, I'm trying to air the car out. I have every window open, even though it's, even though it's raining, because it smells so bad. <laughs> Oh god. Go Ethan, go. It's just like Doritos in here again. Well, we're home now. Um, that was adventurous and a long day. Dark and rainy now. What the freak? How did this happen? My hair is stuck in the glasses. <laughs> are you okay? How, what is it stuck on? Ah. How are you feeling, Alex? Should I make the same joke? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling like I had too many cookies. That joke wasn't scripted. Um, we didn't just reshoot this whole bit because we filmed it all with the microphone off. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't, you saw how much energy I had in my last video. I, I just used all my energy up for the month. There's nothing left. Well, that's water bottle. I'm not spilling water <laughs> all over the place. I just drained that entire bottle. So apparently this guy still had more fecal matter in him. I'm gonna try to get him into the snake bag now. Nope. <laughs> in the bag, please. In the bag, we can wash that I've later. I've never gotten the snake pooping in 4K before. Ah, uh, I can feel it soaking through my pants. It's not just poop, it's like really, there's like water, moisture around it. <sighs> so we're home and we're alive. I can still smell the snake poop on his pants. Um, Okay, now we're gonna show you what we got without passing out, along with some other things that we have in the room that's soon to be available, I guess, depending on when you're watching this or when I edit it, if I ever get to it. So we just wanted to run through all the corn snakes real quick that we got, because we got four of them. We want to take a closer look at all of them. We haven't actually pulled them out yet. Yeah. So. Oh, this is that is, the slim boy? This is the skinniest one. Look at, look at that spine. Yeah, it definitely shows. Looks like he's right about to shed, too. This one is, I don't know. It's they're also small, so it's kind of normal for them to be a little skinnier, I guess. Maybe that uh, one's the best of the bunch, but it yeah. could still use a few grams. Yeah, even him, he like this is wouldn't be the condition we could sell him in. So still gotta wait on that. 
He's so adorable, though. They seem really active and really alert and tongue flicking and everything, so yeah. that's all a good sign. We've worked with really emaciated corn snakes before, so uh, we have no doubt that they'll make a recovery. I love his little tail rattle. <laughs> Look at how angry he is. It's so cute. This thing is freaking gorgeous. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this guy is, is a ghost corn snake. Real pretty. Now, he's also a little bit skinny. Not as bad as the other one, but he could still use a few extra grams. And this is a what looks like a normal. His colors look a bit different because he is in shed right now, so it's hard to tell exactly, but he probably is normal. Regardless, they'll be in wonderful condition by the time they make it to the actual website, so fear not. Well, if you want to be updated on them, hopefully there will be some photos and stuff on um, Emerald Scales Instagram, at underscore Emerald Scales. So yay, we have corn snakes now. I sound so unenthusiastic <laughs> right now. It's been a long day, guys. I always sound like this. So we've got a little... Uh, male ball python. We keep on calling her a she because that's what our previous owner called her. Um, thank you. I think it was somebody who watches our videos or whatever that actually ended up giving us this ball python. But um, that really is a responsible thing to do and not necessarily to give it to us, but to find out, you know, some group or organization that can take it in and either keep it long term or guarantee to do their best to find it an excellent home. So um, good job and thank you to whoever it is that turned this beautiful little girl in who we, we were told was a girl, but we actually now think is a male. <laughs> Surprise. Um, and then this is our boa, who people are still arguing other, over what kind of boa it is exactly. So I'm just not even going to try and specify right now. Um, it's definitely, it's been eating a ton. Usually boas do not eat that much, but I've been just feeding it as kind of as much as it'll eat. Um, because it was pretty underweight before, still not there. So I'm kind of decreasing it just a little as he gets closer. But um, yeah, he's really, he was also pretty grumpy at first. So I've been handling him a bit more and he's doing pretty well, hopefully because of that. After he's up to a healthy weight, we're going to keep on monitoring his weight for a few more weeks to make sure he's still growing at a proper weight, just to make sure he's not stunting, because we aren't 100% sure that he's still really young. We're pretty sure that he's still really young, but we're not 100% sure, so we just got to make sure he's still growing and we haven't missed that window in which he would transfer into stunted. I guess you can just close the, like, come up with an ending for the vlog now, or unless you want to add anything else afterward. Unless you ending the vlog. Goodbye. <laughs>